Hello all, welcome to our new Python lecture series. It's an important part of Python, a powerful package in Python, NumPy. Since this package has numerous functionalities to perform, we will divide this lecture series into few parts. NumPy. NumPy is a Python package, a powerful Python package. NumPy stands for Numerical Python. It's a library consisting of multidimensional array objects and a collection of routines or functions for processing those array objects. Using NumPy, you can perform mathematical and logical operations on arrays. The ancestor of NumPy is numeric and was developed by Jim Huginen. Another package, NumArray was developed having some additional functionalities than this numeric. In 2005, Travis Oliphant created NumPy package by incorporating the features of NumArray into numeric package. There are many contributors to this open source project. Operations using NumPy. Mathematical and logical operations on arrays can be performed using functions and attributes of NumPy package. Fourier transforms, routines for shape manipulations can be easily performed using this package. Operations related to linear algebra can also be performed with the help of NumPy package. NumPy package has many built-in functions for linear algebra and random number generation. Benefits of NumPy package NumPy is often used along with packages like SkyPy, which is scientific Python and matplotlib for plotting library. This combination is widely used as a replacement for MATLAB, a popular platform for technical computing. See, empty array object in the NumPy package. It's the most important object defined in NumPy. Empty array stands for n-dimensional array. It describes a collection of items of the same type. Array is a homogeneous collection or collection of items in array will be of same type. Either it will be of integer type or it will be of floating point type or char type. Items in the collection can be accessed using a zero based index. That is first element can be accessed using zero as index location second element with index location 1 and so on. Every item in an empty array takes the same size of block in the memory because they are of the same data type. Each element in empty array is an object of data type object called D type. An item extracted from empty array object either by slicing or some other operation is represented by a python object of one of array scalar types. The object extracted from empty array objects is also considered by python as an array scalar type. So see this is a diagram of empty array. Empty array has a header part which shows some header information like data type and so on. An array consists of set of homogeneous data type values. If we extract an object or an element from the Zen array, this also will be of a scalar value and we consider it as an object, scalar array object by Python environment. The basic NT array can be created using this NumPy package. 
or using a function in the numpy package and that function is array function syntax of array function is shown here numpy dot array the parameters are object the type copy order sub ok and end admin we will see these parameters in detail in the next slide so what happens when this function is executed it will create an empty array n dimensional array from any object exposing the array interface object exposing the first parameter or from any method that returns an array so what are these parameters object any object exposing the array interface method returns an array or it can be any nested sequences d type parameter is desired data type of array it is optional copy it's again an optional parameter by default the value of copy is true this parameter specifies if the object is copied or not and next is order order value can be c f or a c stands for the elements are stored as row major order f means the elements are stored in column major order but a is a default elements can be either stored using row major or column major python supports both representation of elements in memory either in row major form or in column major form sub okay by default returned array forced to be a base class array of true sub classes can be passed through n admin specifies the minimum dimensions of the resultant array if it is one dimensional array or two dimensional array or three dimensional array and so on so these are the parameters of array function in numpy package we can see a simple example here in the first statement i am importing numpy package and the numpy package is imported to variable np and with the help of np variable the array function is called the only one parameter is passed there is object parameter object is a list consisting of three values 1 2 3 and the result of this array method is assigned to a variable a and with the help of print statement the content is printed see the result is we'll get an array with elements 1 2 3 3 so in order to execute this pack program we need to import a package numpy and the numpy package should be installed in your python folder one more example again we are importing numpy package to a variable np and we are creating n dimensional array using np dot array method and see the parameters passed here it's a two dimensional array or matrix in the next statement we are trying to print the array or matrix the result is 2 by 2 matrix for the first row consists of two elements 1 comma 2 and second row 3 by 3 comma 4 and second part of program we are again creating an n dimensional array object using array method for the first parameter is passed as an object and we are specifying the parameter n dimension to 2 see the result with two square brackets that is it consider the result or this array as a two dimensional array the third set of example again we are creating an array object where the type desired type is complex see the result of array all the elements are created or are created as complex numbers here 
first element actual real part value was 1 plus 0 j second 2 plus 0 j third 3 plus 0 j that's we're creating our array with complex numbers for that we specify d type as complex this is the second example the d type in detail data type object a data type object describes interpretation of fixed block of memory corresponding to an array that is it depends on few aspects like type of data stored in the array whether it is of integer type or floating point type or python object size of data and byte order byte order either it is little indian or big indian in case of structured type the name of fields data type of each field part of memory block taken by each field are considered if the data type is a sub array its shape and data type are considered and by order is decided by two prefixes either by using less than prefix or greater than prefix to data type if this prefix is used with data type it means encoding as little indian that is least significant byte is stored in the smallest address of the simple it means that encoding as big indian which means that most significant byte is stored in the smallest address so that is just a byte order encoding scheme A data type object can be constructed using the following syntax or following method. The method is D type. This D type method consists of three, three parameters object, align, copy. Object to be converted to data. What object is to be converted to data type object or what array or what matrix is to be converted to data type object? a line value can be either true or false of true adds padding to the field to make it similar to some c struct copy makes a new copy of d type object of true a false the result is reference to a built in data type object so the method used to construct a d type object in python is using d type method of numpy package we will see an example of d type method for this again we need to import numpy package to our program and call the d type method in the numpy package and in the first d type we are passing np dot int 32 for each integer or floating point there are many constants like this 30 in 32 in date in 16 in 64 then similarly for float and other data types so this will create a data type object of integer 32 or in 32 if you print dt the result will be in 32 in the second example again we are creating a d type object with first parameter as age and second parameter as np.int8 this will print the result age with i1 i1 is a string equivalent to int8 i2 is similarly a string equivalent to int16 and i4 for int32 if you look for corresponding web now we will see few array attributes of numpy package or nd arrays array attributes first one is nd array dot shape this array attribute returns a tuple consisting of array dimensions it can also be used to resize the array numpy provides many methods reshape function to resize an array next attribute is ntarray.ndiv this attribute returns number of array dimensions 
numpy dot item size this attribute returns length of each element of array in bytes so these are few numpy array is an example for this again we have imported numpy package and the second statement we have created an n dimensional array see the object it is a two dimensional array with two rows and three columns and the next statement we have asked the python to print the shape of array a dot shape will print the dimension of shape of the array it's a 2 by 3 matrix so the shape is 2 comma 3 2 rows and 3 columns and the next line again we are creating an n dimensional array same n dimensional array and here a dot shape of this array shape is assigned as 3 by 2 initially it was a 2 by 3 matrix we are reshaping it or assigning the shape of the array with the help of an attribute as 3 by 2 so see while printing we are getting a matrix with three rows and two columns again we are declaring or creating an n dimensional array here we use the attribute a dot shape here i am using a method reshape to reshape the array to three rows and two columns so while printing b again we will get a matrix of 3 by 2 dimension and in next case again creating an n dimensional array and the data type is specified as float 32 so while printing the item size since it is of floating point type the size of each item of the array is 4 bytes that's a result of this last number 4 denotes the item size is 4 so this is a simple example showing the usage of attributes shape and item size and again added a method reshape we will see few array creation methods or array creation routines using numpy package first routine or function is empty function numpy dot empty it will create an uninitialized array of specified shape and data type the method used is empty with parameters shape data type and order shape parameter specifies the shape of empty array it int or tuple of it that is size of an array which is one dimensional or two dimensional it is a two dimensional number of rows and columns data type desired output data type and order can be c for c style row major array f for column major array an example of usage of empty method for this again we are importing a numpy package and with the help of variable np we are calling the method np dot empty the first parameter is the dimension 3 comma 2 and the second d type is int so the result you can see is it's an uninitialized array with three rows and two columns dimension of array is 3 by 2 or three rows and two columns another array creation routine is zeros method numpy dot zeros it will return an array of specified size or shape but the, all the elements will be filled with value 0 numpy dot zeros with same parameters as in case of empty shape data type and order shape shape of an array which can be specified in integer values or tuple of int data type desired output data type order c for row major style and f for column major style an example of zeros method for this we are we have to import the numpy package and call zeros method 
np dot zeros of phi will create a one dimensional array of size phi and all the element value will be zero by default zeros element create the array with floating type value that's why we got 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero dot as answer in the second example i'm specifying data type as in so we will get an n dimension an array of a one dimensional array with five elements and the five values are zero and the type is integer this is an example of showing the use of zeros method we will see one more method of array creation in this lecture that is once method num5 dot once it will return a new array of specified size and data type but the elements are filled with values one the parameters to this once method are shape, date type, and order, as in case of zeros and empty method. Shape specifies the shape of array, either an int or tuple of int. Date type, desired output data type. Order, C4 row major array, F4 column major array. Here we are creating np dot once. A two dimensional array, two comma two, where the data type is one. So the output will be a two dimensional array with two rows and two columns, and the value of each and every element in the array is one, 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 one. So we are pointing up this lecture now. Here we have seen the importance of NumPy package, how to create an n dimensional array use of dtype method and few array creation methods like empty zeros ones so thank you for now